Alright, I've got a question <coughs> for somebody. Uh, first of all, I'm going to introduce myself. I am, uh, my name is Manslave, and I run the Validation Warfare YouTube channel. And this question is for a user, <coughs> a user that goes by the name of Skepchick on YouTube. Um, also known as R.K. Watson, I think, I think her name is Rebecca Watson, um, that's, um, that's her name that she goes by. Uh, so I want to ask this question to you, Skepchick, uh, Rebecca. I, uh, I've been hearing th this, uh, <coughs> this term or phrase or whatever, um, and I just want to know if it's true. Um, just a little bit, I'm not quite sure what it is, or, or I don't want to uh, assume anything wrong, or really speculate too bad. I'm just curious, I'm just curious to know what it is. What's the, the rape switch? Uh, I've, I've heard uh, people on the internet talk about uh, uh, the rape switch and say that, that you... Uh, that you say that men have a rape switch in their brain and <coughs> that this rape switch um, is I don't know if it's like from what I heard I don't know if it's just turned on all the time um, I wonder if this this has anything to do with like how Kira Cochran that writer um it's either the UK Guardian or one of those uh, British online newspapers uh, uh, several years ago, it was in 2004 or 2005, she wrote an article that uh, said, Are all men rapists after all? Uh, and I read, um, I read through that article and she says that rape is a crime of opportunity and men will just take their chances. Uh, so I just would like for you to clarify what the rape switch is, uh, because I've heard of this rape switch, and it's really got me interested to know what it is, uh, what it's for, and just whatever. I, I just wonder if, um, uh, just really quick, I was just wondering if, uh, Just, just to make sure, <coughs> I had to go grab something. I, uh, I just wondering, uh, just wondering what the rape switch is, and if it has anything to do with, uh, with the, uh, w with Terminator. You know, um, if men are like Terminators, and that they have this switch inside their brains that can be switched on or off, um, and determine if they're going to rape women or whatever. Because uh, I was watching this li uh, lately, it's uh, the Skynet edition of Terminator 2 on Blu-ray. Um, so this is the really good special edition of the movie. And if you enter in um, a special code uh, on the screen, it lets you play the um, the movie with all the deleted scenes and everything all reinserted back in seam uh, seamlessly as the director intended for it to be, aside from cutting out a bunch of stuff to keep it under three or four hours or whatever. So you get to see everything seamlessly added back in there. And there's a scene where where um where <coughs> John Connor and uh Sarah Connor they end up <laughs> performing brain surgery on uh on uh, the T the T eight hundred uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character they cut open part of his skin and they get into his uh, into his um, his skull, the Terminator's uh, skull, and they take out the CPU, um, the neural net processor, and then there's a switch on there that you can change or reset, and it enables him to think for himself and to learn. Um, of which he, I'll just spoil it. Uh, of which he uses in. Uh, in the end, to effectively betray John Connor, because uh, that's what happens. 
is he uh, he gets his arm smashed, he leaves it behind in the uh, factory, and he doesn't tell John about it. Now, they do destroy an arm, but that's from the uh, original Terminator uh, from the first movie, and the, the CPU from the um, first Terminator. Of course, Schwarzenegger destroys himself, or has them destroy him by luring, or lowering him down into the molten steel. But there's still his left arm from about the elbow down, um kind of mangled up a little bit, but it's left behind in the factory and he doesn't tell anybody about it. <clears throat> and they could have made the third Terminator just based on that, but no, people that made the third Terminator just really kind of dropped the ball in terms of story and they're just like, they, they took the stupid approach of, well, well, Judgment Day was just meant to happen, you couldn't stop it. Uh, well, no, you kind of got to follow logic and all that. Um, and the writers of the third Terminator movie just kind of really failed horribly. Um, they, 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 now, now, Terminator 4 did pretty good and introduced something that really impressed me uh, in terms of storyline, which was that uh, that uh, that Kyle Reese was the key to everything. I believe they say the exact phrase. And uh, they did really good on that second Terminator movie was a masterpiece. The first one was really good, especially if you see the deleted scenes uh, on the special edition where uh, they, they pan the camera up after they put Sarah Connor in the ambulance and it shows the front of the building and it says Cyberdyne Systems on there. Uh, a lot of the really crucial plot information was kind of just kind of cut out because uh, Cameron kept having to keep these movies under four hours or whatever his, his problem was. Uh, he talks about he always has to cut those movies because of time. And But yeah, the the, term, the first Terminator is really good. second one was really good. Uh, third one just really aggravated me. fourth one was pretty good. But anyway, yeah. <clears throat> so, you know, I was just wondering... Uh, you know, if if the rape switch is anything like the the uh, the learning switch that's on the CPU of the Terminator's, uh, you know, in the Terminator's uh, head, uh, you know, if they're linked in any way, um, you know, I'm just trying to find out if it if it's true, uh, because people on the internet have said that that um, that you talk about how men have a switch in their brains, kind of. Uh, I guess metaphorically or whatever, it's called a rape switch, and uh, and people say that you say that it's switched on all the time and that it needs to be disabled or whatever. Um, so I'm just curious about what the rape switch is, if there's such a thing, and you know if if you had mentioned it or do you believe in it or do you you know what do you know about it? I just want I just want to understand and all that. Because uh, me and my colleague, the disposable human doing, we both agree that rape is very bad. Um, at the same time, we do acknowledge that rape is an unthinkable thing. Most men don't even have interest in it. Um, anyway, <coughs> um, and after learning um, how interactions are between male and female, it's just me and my uh, my colleague uh, who's also on some of the videos on here we just really you know we basically women have lost their luster um, their personalities are just not worth it I mean regardless of how they look or whatever the problem is how they act well they don't look so great anymore since they got a bunch of tattoos and put a bunch of artificial color in their hair and smoke like a chimney all the time and I've had my uh, I've had my time of kissing an ashtray and I'm done with that it just it's, t today's woman is just undateable uh, and that makes rape even less appealing uh, sexual harassment uh, no the, we just like we have no interest in that um, and just so you know our, our goals are to uh, eradicate rape and sexual harassment if at all possible that is our goal we'd like to achieve 
Um, sounds all great, right? Comes at a cost. Comes at a cost. Uh, your gender, uh, your sex, your whatever. Um, women won't be. Uh, they, they won't be getting validated. They won't be getting their self-esteem boost and all that from uh, from being pursued or whatever. And uh, and we know how women really are. We we've, we've studied you for years. Uh, not studied you personally, Rebecca. Um, skeptic, whoever you want to call yourself. Uh, we've studied your gender uh, for years, um, and we've just noticed that there's a difference between what women say and what women do. We always hear about how uh, women say they like nice guys, but then they don't really want them. Uh, they always go for that jerk, the, the douche, the asshole, whatever. Uh, there's a lot going on underneath the surface of a woman's mind and your gynocentric bigotry and that's what it is because if a man were to act the same and I know from personal experience if a man were to act the same way as a woman uh, about all this girl power and uh, and all this other absurdity uh, the man gets labeled as a sexist bigot uh, and gets labeled as a woman hater. Uh, so in the name of equality, yeah, your behavior is bigotry and it is man hating. If a sandwich comment will get a man labeled as a woman hater, then many of the things that you and the Fometheist and Anita Sarkeesian and other bigots on the internet are doing that qualifies as man-hating. It's, it's misandry. It is. If we're really going to have e equality, and that's what me and my colleague, we want real equality, okay? We want men and women to be treated to be treated the same. Now, it doesn't guarantee the same outcome because men and women have their differences just as various other people have their differences, okay? Uh, we're into fair treatment. And man-woman myth... <clears throat> made a very, very good assessment. He said that blacks are typically athletically superior to whites. You see, I'm white. And I totally agree with him. I've seen it. Blacks are excellent athletes. I have no problem with this. And also in 1936, a black man defeated Adolf Hitler's Third Reich Nazi super athletes or whatever and uh, in the 1936 Olympics proving to the world that yes blacks can um, compete and defeat whites in uh, athletic events <clears throat> okay alright now I mean it's an established fact that, that blacks have a competitive edge on whites uh, in athletics, um, we're just talking about athletics, not anything else, but just athletics. So, to get some kind of equality of outcome on the um, on the hundred meter dash, uh, man, woman, myth uh, brought up the point: should all the blacks be made to carry one hundred pound rucksacks on their back, uh, so that whites can have a chance at, you know. Um, at outperforming the blacks? Uh, should whites start further ahead of the blacks in order to kind of equal the uh, the whole playing field or whatever? No. All athletes start at the exact same place and try to make, and, and then you just, it's just like stock cars in NASCAR. Try to make everything as equal as possible and see which driver performs best. Uh, me and my colleague, we advocate total equality between men and women of treatment. Now, if there's an equality, now, now if there is a inequality of outcome, then there's plenty of other variables and other factors involved in the whole equation, and it just it's something that's just going to be different, I suppose. Uh, we do not hate you. Uh, we do not hate uh, women. We do not hate really actually anybody. Uh, we get frustrated at people. Uh, but we don't hate them. And 
anyway, um, I just figured I would make this video to just find out what the rape switch is. Because I'm really curious. I mean, like, you know, if I, I just want to find out if you'd mention anything about that. Or if you know who did. Or if you know anything about what it is. Um, yeah, please tell me. Um, and that sort of thing. Um, because uh, I, I, I want to know what I can do to stop women from being raped. Um, <laughs> I've, uh, I've got my own solutions to the problem. Uh, that is that men wake up and learn what your gender really is about, which is just a bunch of, like, just, well, once, w once men wake up and find out that most women don't have any viable personality, uh, then, uh, then y your gender will do what they know to do, which is use their vagina and use sexuality in an act of desperation, which they already do. That's why they dance on poles uh, and do all the other things that, uh, <clears throat> that, uh, that, that girl power has, has enabled. Uh, that a lot of feminists are not proud of. Uh, they like to conceal uh, female nature in a struggle for dignity. However, we men, we're learning. Now there's still plenty of pickup artists out there and me and my colleague, we totally detest pickup artists. Uh, no, we just, we, we were in favor of traditional relationships and we come from a background uh, that basically provided the opportunity to find out that yes there is such thing as treating a woman too good. Uh, they use you as a stepping stone and graduate on to uh, they get their self esteem boost and they graduate they graduate on to who they really want. Somebody who's more attractive, somebody who's got more money. Uh, we know this from personal experience. And uh, and if you uh, if you got a problem with it or if you don't believe us or whatever, then you can go pet some, alright? All right. Now uh, another thing is, um, yeah, uh, we're tired of like all the shaming and all the guilt going on about how like you know we we don't like this rape culture and this whole uh, fabricated um, pandemic of rape and sexual harassment. Uh, and if you want to get all nice and dirty about all this, and when I mean dirty, I mean just heated and 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 and, and uh, confrontational and all that, then uh, I can go on about my personal experiences for hour upon hour, and I'll make videos and put it up on YouTube, and gripe and complain about how many times I was sexually objectified, uh, or sexually harassed, or mistreated, or whatever, and I will just let you know what motivates me to not trust your gender and to not find women very interesting okay and you know I can read segments of Esther Viller's book called The Manipulated Man which I had only found recently uh, it was a great book and <laughs> anyway uh, so once again my name is Manslave and I just want to find out what the rape switch is uh, you can send me a message or make a video you know, a video response would be great uh, I'm not going to degrade your physical appearance, you know, okay, I'm not, like, into this ad hominem stuff, like, all that much, uh, like, a bunch of people are on both sides, but, you know, just tell me, you know, what the rape switch is, or whatever, um, you know, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, I mean, I, I'm a person, I can be, like, if, if, like, need be, but just, like, you know, just, like, tell me what the rape switch is, or, you know, or whoever knows anything about it, and uh, we'll see what we can do to to reduce rape and all that other stuff, okay? So, uh, until next time, I'm Manslave, and uh, enjoy watching the Validation Warfare YouTube channel.